All right, guys, hadn't done an unboxing video in a while, and I got one in that I felt was deserving of capturing it on video. I'd like to see more of these from other people. Um, if people have time and they get something cool in, feel free to set up a cell phone and just do your thing. Uh, I mean, I make a fool of myself on a regular basis on here, and uh, I've managed to get by. So this is uh, this is from a member of the Stomper Museum, and he's one of the first guys that I dealt with. I think back when I first started, and I kind of uh, begged to buy this one. I guess you could say. Uh, it wasn't something he was looking to sell, but I wanted one really bad. So I made him an offer that he couldn't refuse. And I think I had to sell about uh, 10 or 12 of my doubles to get this one. But, you know, the way I look at it, do I want 10 extras of the same stomper or do I want something new? And I'm to that phase in my collecting that I have to uh, to sell something to buy something. So this one here was rare to me, and I've been wanting another workhorse. So I went ahead and forked over the dough. I'll just set that there. I don't know how well you can see it on the on the camera, but. Uh, that's that. He sent me an extra wheel because one of the wheels had a crack in it. If you're going to collect, sometimes you got to step up. Uh, when you start out, you can buy a lot of the common stuff. And I did do that. I bought more than I ever should have uh, of the same ones and things like that. And then over time, I've upgraded to nicer ones. So. That leaves me with, with extras. Anyway, th this is what I call the weed wagon. It's basically just a, uh, a yard cart, I guess you could call it. And you can pick up brush and weeds and things like that around your yard. Uh, anyway, there's the, the winch. So I'll go ahead and put the winch on it. Looks pretty nice. I was actually going to bid on the one on eBay. That's what started this whole thing. Uh, the one popped up on eBay the other day and I was saved up enough money to put in a rather healthy bid on it. And there at the last minute I started talking to Jerry about this stomper and I made him an offer. So I ended up, I still bid on the one on eBay but I bid a lot less and ended up losing it. And the next morning I was able to purchase this. So I'm uh, super excited. I've been waiting ever since. I think it was uh, Thursday or Friday or something like that. Uh, he shipped it out and it's gotten here today. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I actually got it today early. But uh, when you're getting something big and everything, you're, you're pretty excited. It's kind of like a having a Christmas when you're 10 years old, you rush down the stairs to, to see what's under the tree. And, and uh, in our adult lives, we rush down to the post office to see what's in our boxes. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a similar thing, I guess. I guess we're all trying to recapture that fun of youth and escape the modern world, which has lots of worries and stress and bills and things like that. So the way I feel about it, my dad was an alcoholic and I'm sure he blew through a thousand dollars worth of alcohol probably at least a month. So, which would I rather have, uh, alcoholism or a cool stomper on my shelf? So, if it brings you joy and you can afford to buy it, I say go for it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little lecture, I guess. I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy Stompers. I love seeing what you guys have. I know that I tend to be the uh, uh, the, the, rattle, the rattling can. I'm the guy going around saying stuff, posting stuff, posting pictures, trying to keep the excitement up. And I love to see what you guys have to show, too. So I hope that 
uh, we could get more activity and, and people post their collections. I don't care if you've posted it five different times. You can take a stomper out and put it in your driveway, take a picture. You can set it in your wife's uh, little landscaping or whatever and, and get a picture, and it looks like it's in its own little world there. So we all enjoy that sort of thing. And it helps me keep fresh cover photos on the group too. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'm probably going to post a thousand photos of this thing on the group before long. And uh, tonight we're going to have a bango. So hope, hopefully we'll see you guys on there. Until then, stomp her on.